Do you know that your Onvith IP PoE cameras like the Reolink and Amcrest is now accessible through the Ring app? Let's talk about it. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Ring recently released an update which you can now add your Onvith compatible PoE IP cameras in the Ring app. Don't rejoice yet though because first there are specific requirements to make this happen. And currently as far as me testing this, it works but it is not reliable yet. And I'll tell you more about the results of my testing later in the video, so keep on watching. Also, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And it really helps the channel. Thank you and I appreciate it. So what are the requirements for you to be able to integrate your OnVIF compatible cameras with the Ring app? OnVIF, by the way, if you're not familiar with this term, is an acronym for Open Network Video Interface Forum. And the goal is developing an open standard so that IP-based security products, or cameras in our case, can be integrated even if they are from different brands. And what Ring is doing here is possible because of OnVIF. As to the requirements, first, you need to have the latest version of the Ring app. And you need to have the Ring Alarm Pro and should be a Ring Protect Pro subscriber. Also, the OnVIF compatible camera needs to be able to stream at 1080p or lower, mainstream or substream. I know substream are always low res, so no problem there. The cameras will still record in their micro SD cards or NVR in full resolution. When I did my testing though, lowering down the camera's resolution to 1080p will make it more reliable and faster in loading up the live view in the Ring app. There's still some issues even then which I'll talk about later in the video. And it needs to support H.264 encoding. And also you need to be able to set a password on your OnVIF camera. Because the Amcrest is the brand that Ring used in the app, I'm going to use Amcrest. And actually this is the most ideal brand for this integration. Because the Amcrest app is really not that great. They have good cameras though. I reviewed this camera and their app a while back and I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. Now the OnVIF camera needs to be set up with their own app first. And what I learned is that if the camera is hooked up on the NVR, like the cameras are plugged in directly on the PoE ports on the back of the NVR, and I'm talking about Reolink in my case, the Ring app will not be able to find the cameras. It needs to be set up in your network either in a PoE switch or directly to your router. And you can then add the NVR by itself in your network and that setup should work. In my testing on both Amcrest and Reolinks, both cameras are recording to their corresponding microSD cards that I inserted on the camera themselves. And they are plugged into my PoE switch, connected to my network and where the Ring Alarm Pro is also connected. To connect the camera, open up the Ring app and click set up a device. Scroll down and click on VIF cameras. Click continue and the Ring app will automatically search for your cameras. And if you have one that is compatible, it will show up. Click on it to authorize and you will get some warnings. Type in your login for the camera and click connect authorized cameras. And now it should show up on your cameras list in the Ring app. And it will have the same settings and features like Ring's regular cameras. You can go to live view which loads up quick. And unfortunately, these two OnVIF cameras that I've tested don't have two-way talk. So I'm not able to test this if this feature works with the Ring app. But just like other Ring cameras, you will have access to integration among Ring compatible devices like smart locks and garage door openers. And if you click the gear icon, you will get to the camera settings in the app where you have recent activity and you will see here there are just motion events because the smart person detection is not reliable in both cameras that I've tested. In motion settings, if I turn on smart alerts, both cameras will not detect AI events like person detection. In my testing, I only got it to work one time on the real link and one time with the Amcrest, but there was no recording. This is something that Ring still needs to work on. Disabling it will now detect motion, but you also get non-relevant alerts and recordings. As to the recordings, all the recordings from the cameras will be only in 1080p resolution. This defaults to record using the Ring Edge and will record to the micro SD card inserted on the Ring Alarm Pro. Ring states on their site that customers can choose for their OnVIF cameras to record to the micro SD card or to the cloud. But currently, turning off the SD card option will also make the camera go offline. So at this time, these cameras will only record to the micro SD card. I can make a whole video just talking about the Ring Edge recording and its shortcomings, but I'll just tell you a little bit for now. Currently, I don't use it because it is not reliable. Cloud recording is still the best option, and you can only choose one or the other. First thing I notice 
is the poor connection issue which results in footage that freezes and this has been a bit better compared before with ring cameras but it's very apparent with on vif cameras especially with the amcrest that i tested also, 3 or the 6 second pre-roll is not reliable with the edge recording. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. And for you to be able to download the footage, there is some processing time, which I think the footage uploads to the cloud first before you can download it to your phone. Anyways, if you are using the Ring Edge local recording, comment below and tell me your experience. Overall, this is a good idea from Ring. It just needs some tweaking to have more reliable detection, notifications, and recordings. And the best brand of OnVIF cameras that you can use here are the Amcrest because it doesn't have a good app. And even Reelink just for the rich notifications. And you can go to each camera's recording to get the full resolution footage if needed. I'll most likely revisit this whenever Ring improves its edge recording and have more reliable smart detection. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.